Ken Cragen has died at the age of 85. The legendary music manager was behind the multi-Grammy award-winning track, We Are The World, which soared to the top of the charts in the 80s, earning $64 million for aid in Africa. The song, written by Michael Jackson and Lionel Richie, featured a star-studded celebrity cast including Stevie Wonder, Ray Charles, Tina Turner, Diana Ross, Bruce Springsteen and Bob Dylan, to name just a few. The Harvard-educated business graduate also organized the legendary music event Hands Across America, raising $34 million for causes such as hunger and homelessness across the USA. The manager also worked with acts from country stars Kenny Rogers and Trisha Yearwood, plus disco acts The Bee Gees and Olivia Newton-John. He reportedly died of natural causes at his home in Brentwood, California. His devastated family have released a statement sharing their grief at the loss of a musical legend who had touched the hearts of millions. Wife Kathy Worthington expressed, to have been married to someone of such character and loving goodness is the honor of my life. She had been in a committed marriage to him for over 40 years before his death. Meanwhile, his daughter Emma Cragen spoke of Ken's achievements, both personal and professional. While I am of course immensely proud of everything he has accomplished professionally, he has also been the best dad to me that I could ever ask for, she declared. The career highlight that changed the lives of so many had all begun when Carmen Jones actor Harry Belafonte called Ken to ask if he could help to organize a concert that would raise funds for the poor and needy in Africa. He instantly agreed, and his connections led to We Are The World, a track filled with celebrity voices. Within a month, Lionel Richie and Michael Jackson were on board as writers, while Quincy Jones agreed to serve as the song's producer. Debate, insight, comment, speaking openly through its lyrics about issues of poverty, inequality and child hunger, it unleashed a tidal wave of publicity that would ultimately earn $64 million worth of funds for its cause.